Hi everyone. This is the Spielberg Show. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This is the Spielberg Show. I'm gonna do stuff. This is the Spielberg Show. Oh god, this dog is barking. This is the Spielberg Show. I'm gonna do stuff. Or talk about stuff. Ooh, jazz song chord. Hi everyone. My name is Spielberg. For those who know me, I am cool and for those who don't know me yet uh nice to meet you i'm cool i decided i wanted to start up my youtube again i used to have it back in high school and i have since changed a little and so therefore this channel is gonna change a little and i'm just gonna make it all draggy so today i will be talking to you guys about behind the scenes tea from sasha bell's drag race and my time competing on the show for those who don't know, I participated in a competition style show called uh, Sasha Bell's Drag Race. I competed in two seasons, uh, season eight, where I placed second, and All Stars three, where I placed uh, third. I was in the bottom twice um, without a twist, and then three times when the twist was involved. And I won two challenges total in two seasons. So season eight, this was a uh, interesting time for me. Season eight comes around and I, felt so confident that first episode i was like oh i made this first look i literally i just literally cut black fabric and like hot glued it to the seam of that coat um maybe i'll even edit a picture in right here if i'm not feeling lazy um but i might be feeling lazy i think when it, it really hit me that the competition was happening the very like when i got called safe no 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 it was because beep didn't get called safe, but I did. So I was like, I was shook. It's visibly taking place in front of me and I'm a part of it this time. It, it was ooky spooky. I was, I was scared. I was scared. <laughs> I'm being dramatic because overall it was very fun and I did grow a lot. And then we get into All Stars 3. If I'm gonna talk about All Stars 3, I gotta pop open a cold one. All Stars 3 was crazy because there was this crazy twist introduced where we would be voting for the bottom two. And therefore, chances are, even if you did good in the challenge, you were probably going to be lip syncing. I was decent, but I never won. Um, and like, that didn't never, that didn't never, <laughs> that didn't really bug me not winning challenges. I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. But the voting twist, um, I mean, I kind of had an idea. I kind of had an idea that it was going to be like this. Because I knew it was going to be different rules than All-Stars 2. Which, I wish it were All-Stars 2's 2 rules, because I feel like, I don't know, that layout just sounds fun. More fun to me. And for the finale of All-Stars 3, that was probably my, uh, favorite talent out of the two. I feel like Season 8's talent was a whole, like, cinematic experience but it was a little sloppier because I feel like I didn't know exactly what I wanted it to look like. I also had some issues with the dancers because I believe one of them dropped the day of, and so I had to teach one of those dancers the day of what the dance was. All Stars 3, I worked really, really hard on that one. I felt like it was like a celebration with my friend. Beep played a role, uh, my friend Brody, um, and then MJ. Uh, Daddy Hyde was in it. Am I forgetting someone? Oh, yes. And Raquel. <laughs> Bitch, she's gonna kill me. I did not mean... I, I, um, I, everyone genuinely did so well. And one, like, critique I got was that it kind of felt like it was, like, a group number rather than just a me thing. But in my defense, in my opinion, though, like, that was the point. Like, I wanted it to, I wanted to, like, hey... This is a show I created. That's my talent. Um, the original script and everything was um, 10 minutes long and we had a seven minute time limit. So I had to cut so much shit out of it. Actually, I think it was a six minute time limit. So I said, YOLO. And um, God said, hey girl, um, don't worry, you're on in five. So <laughs> when the show first started, I was kind of like, oh, I literally am just in this for shits and giggles. After Snatch Game, I realized that I was a good competitor and that I should actually be trying. And then I realized like two episodes after that that I was being a crazy person and that wasn't who I was either. I didn't really care about like the voting thing. At the end of the day, I couldn't avoid it. So I was like, no reason to stress about it. As long as I do my best and know the words, 
which um, I was one of the few, uh, and I would be fine, so. Well, I sure loved this um, trip down memory lane, so you guys should uh, subscribe to my channel because I'll have more videos coming out and a lot of fun things happening and another music video or two coming into your guys' way also. So just stay tuned. We're gonna have some fun times.